You're watching Yellowstone in depth. Mountain goats in Yellowstone. It's plain and simple. Yellowstone is an exciting place. People travel here to experience nature at its purest and here in the northeast corner of the park at its wildest. The preservation of this 2.2 million acre wilderness ensures that this park will remain one of our national legacies. The ability to watch as the drama and the beauty of this naturally regulating ecosystem unfolds makes this park one of our national treasures. Yellowstone's beauty reaches well beyond the geyser basins and the canyons. Much of that beauty here lies within the competition that occurs at every level of the wilderness. We are easily excited about the struggles between bears and wolves, but are those battles more important than the effort it takes for an alpine plant to survive? It is the daily interactions between the different elements of nature that makes this place so special. One of our main jobs in Yellowstone is to preserve and protect the natural features and processes found here. When those processes involve a non-native species, it draws attention. Yellowstone is being invaded. The mountain goat is moving in. For visitors, a chance to see or photograph these charismatic creatures is a rare but treasured event. Mountain goats are beautiful, but here in Yellowstone, they are exotic. For hunting purposes, mountain goats were introduced into the Absaroka and Beartooth Mountains during the 1940s and 1950s. Those mountains to the north, along with the Gallatin Mountains to the west of the park, provided pathways for the migration of goats into northern Yellowstone. It is believed that by 1990, mountain goats had successfully colonized some alpine sections of the park. The first and most obvious concern with the arrival of mountain goats was their interaction with native bighorn sheep. The greater Yellowstone region is considered one of the most important core areas for bighorn sheep in North America, and sheep are highly susceptible to disease transfer from other species. In 1982, an outbreak of pink eye killed nearly 60% of Yellowstone's bighorn population. Maintaining a healthy sheep population in Yellowstone is essential. Could the added competition and displacement by mountain goats be adversely affecting the rebounding bighorn population? Wildlife managers have been working to develop an adaptive management plan that best protects the park. In 2007, researchers from the Yellowstone Center for Resources began working with Dr. Ken Aho to research the effects goats are having on the alpine regions of northern Yellowstone. Between 2000 and 2003, Dr. Aho, now a professor at Idaho State University, conducted his doctoral research in the park. He established and sampled 110 plots on nine high altitude mountains in the northeast portion of the park and adjacent national forest land. That study looked to describe the plant species found within Yellowstone's alpine environment. He also looked at the different plant communities and how those were distributed across the landscape. Anecdotal data from this research indicated that in areas of high goat use, vegetation cover was lower and barren areas more abundant along ridgelines. Wow, it's windy up here. The latest study, which began in 2007, used three alternate sampling techniques to assess the potential effects of mountain goats on alpine vegetation. Areas of both high and low goat use were looked at. Secondly, in 2008 and 2009, Dr. Aho collected vegetation and environmental data at 152 sites on eight different mountains. Those plots were in five different habitats, North Face, South Face, Ridge, Snowmelt, and Plateau. Plots were established along a gradient of goat use from high to low. Thirdly, Dr. Aho resampled some of the plots he had studied between 2000 and 2003. Returning to those plots provided measures of change over time. During this study, a few things concerned Dr. Aho from the start. One was the fact that there was considerable trail building in areas of high goat use. This can lead to erosion. He noticed goats like the areas just downstream from the lingering snow cornices. The melting snow provides water for the goats, but it also creates important habitat for some of the rarest plants found in the northern Rockies, some of which are endemic to this region. 
Also, the amount of plant disturbances at goat bedding sites was significant. A major concern is the rapid expansion of the goat population into fragile alpine habitat. An estimated 178 goats live in Yellowstone in 2010, compared to 54 back in 2002. Maintaining a healthy and native alpine environment is essential for Yellowstone's future. Alpine ecosystems in Yellowstone are important for two reasons. First of all, the park is intended to be a place where natural systems are preserved intact, and the alpine is certainly an important part of Yellowstone National Park. Secondly, all the climate models that have been recently published concerning Yellowstone predict the tree lines will move up in altitude and cause the alpine to be increasingly fragmented and made vulnerable. Over time, this research will help the National Park Service as they create an adaptive management plan that is based on science. It will also aid state and federal agencies outside the park as they develop guidelines and hunting quotas for regions near the park.